guys, it's Sanilla. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm here to film a, I guess, a new in slash black business mini haul. So, I'm pretty sure this one thing counts to black business, even though I got it from Amazon, but that's because I had Amazon credit and I wasn't sure about their website. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is a mini black business haul, and let's jump into it. So, um, yeah, I just filmed another video addressing why I haven't been here and stuff like that. But so the first thing that I want to film is, or mention to you, is the Honey Pot Feminine Wash. She actually did send me two of them to review. One is the sensitive one, one is the normal one. The normal one is in my, um, in case shit happens bag inside my backpack. You know what I mean, if you're a lady, your, your period shows up unexpectedly. So there's underwear, pads, um, wash, stuff like that. Yeah, so that's all in my backpack, but so I have the sensitive one right here. I am going to do a full review on it, but oh my god, this stuff is amazing. Just, if, you, if you're just, if you're worried about testing it, go ahead, go to the website, buy the mini 2 ounce travel size, you will thank me later. Alright, so the next thing um, is, this one actually is the one that I ordered. I was like, I'm not sure if it's a black business or not, but, because I bought it from Amazon, but it's the Herbal Dudu Assume. Uh, African black soap the liquid version. This is what it looks like um, uh, Just basically based off of what I was telling you in the last video about stuff that was going on in my personal life I do not handle stress well physically like mentally and emotionally I was like, okay, but physically things start to show so I was gaining a lot of weight I gained about 15 pounds in the six seven months that I was constantly dealing with this one person and I'm working on that now because everybody says you look fine but I don't like having the fact that I have to I might have to buy more pants pants are expensive and so like the entire side of my chin here and a couple spots on my face were breaking out really bad I'd already gone through and changed my pillowcase I was washing my face I was I changed the um the head on my Clarisonic and nothing was really helping so as well and I'm trying to drink more water too but Dear God, I just, I just need to bring a case of water to my room and just, like, don't leave the house or don't leave your room. I don't care if I have to pee 12 times, but I need to drink more damn water. But so I bought this, and with I bought this last week with my Amazon credit money, credit, uh, gift card, whatever you want to call it. And it's really cleared up a lot since I first started using it. It was worse than this, and I mean, I'm just going to hope it continues to get better. But I can also use this everywhere else, um, my note to self and for women. Do not use black soap down there. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I've used liquid before. I've used solid before. Solid is probably the absolute worst. It feels like your shit is on fire from the outside. Alright, and so the rest of this is all naturally insatiable. She is one of the people that I mentioned, or I may as well say it. She's one of the people that I'm going to be interviewing and working with for the blog. So when that's 100% or after I use all this stuff, I'm going to do a full-on review for everything as well as put this on here and on the blog. So you guys will see that and you guys will know when the full website is up and running. But so the first thing that I ordered because I wanted to get the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I wanted to get black soap from her too. So this is actually her, um, it's actually a bubble bath advertised on her website, but it is liquid black soap. And so it's her black soap and it's vegan and looks like this. Everything what came packaged beautifully. And I was just really excited to get this stuff in because I think I ordered it Friday or Saturday. And, um, as of recording this, today is Wednesday. Wednesday, I was supposed to say Tuesday. Tuesday was yesterday. <laughs> My days are off since I'm not in school anymore. Today is, if I'm looking at this right, yep, today's Wednesday the 4th. My birthday's next week. I'm so excited. Yay. And also the next time I film, I might have different hair. We'll see how that goes. All right. So the next thing that I have here is her naturally cocoa buttered whip. So this is the packaging that it came in. She wrapped everything up to make sure nothing spilled or leaked all over the place. Because um, thanks to the post office I have, and them just beating my crap up, I've had something leak from her before. But she fixed it and... She's a really lovely lady, and just the fact that she's willing to work with me being so new to the blogging and YouTube game and young, just, I'm really excited to be able to work with her at, on such a personal level. But so, oh, this stuff smells like chocolate, and if y'all know, I like to smell like I'm edible. I mean, if I want to be a pervert, say, hell yeah, I technically am edible, but I like to smell edible. So this stuff does smell like straight up cocoa butter. No, cocoa beans, cocoa beans. Because cocoa butter has like that weird almost, I can't think of the word, but it has like a weird after smell. This smells like straight up, like it's got like, um, mint cream in it or something. But I smell like chocolate. I love chocolate. I should text my friend that's getting ready to come if they could bring chocolate with them. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing right here is the natural, naturally buttered whip. So this is different. This one, I guess, does not have cocoa butter in it. This one has mango butter, basu oil, cocoa butter. Oh, it's got cocoa butter or shea butter. It's got cocoa butter and shea butter. So what's the difference? I think the oils. Yeah, because this one has almond oil. Oh, 
this one's cocoa butter scented. This, or like chocolate scented, cocoa scented. And this one, I guess, I'm not sure which one scented this is. That, duh. Let's find out. I don't know, but it smells delicious. <laughs> This is the consistency of it. I don't know if I showed you the last one. So it's really thick. Like, this stuff is not moving. It'll probably move once it heats up in this dang house. Because Lord knows my Nana, for some reason, still has to heat on. But then again, within, like, the past couple days, it's gone from being, like, freaking 80 degrees to being back down in, like, the lower, the mid to upper 50s. So whatever. I'll deal with the heat. But So this is a lovely, if y'all can see that, how nice and glistening and moisturized my skin looks. So yeah, I'm going to play with these. So the next thing she sent me is the mint foot scrub. This is the container. This is what it looks like. Mm, I tightened it too much because I got it open earlier to sniff it, and now I can't get it open again. Ah, uh, no, it's stuck. Damn it. Got it. Got it. Damn. <laughs> I'm weak. So yeah, this is what the consistency of it looks like right here. It's got flecks of what looks like vanilla bean or something in it. It smells like, and you're gonna think this is funny, but I actually enjoy the smell. Have you ever smelled like the um? They made it where if you have like sinus problems, it smells like peppermint oil, and like almost like Vicks vapor rub, like but not the actual one you put on your chest. The one that you have like the drops that you put in your shower and it helps you open up that way. It smells like that. It smells really good. Like. I don't even like feet, but I'm going to scrub my feet and my mom's feet to see my mom's opinion, too. Because I don't like feet, but I'm, I'm okay with touching my mother's feet. That's, like, the one thing I hate about my job is I constantly have to mess with somebody's feet. And I hate feet. And I'm okay with my feet, but I'm not okay with that. And my mother's feet, but I'm not okay with touching other people's feet. I don't know. Just feet are gross. Especially when they're old and flaky. And so the last thing is here is the naturally sugared scrub. And this is black soap again. And like I said, because I was breaking out between my face and my entire chest and back area broke out really bad. Especially like my shoulders for some odd reason, which has never been an area that's broken out on me before. But that was due to the stress and probably the lack of water. But so, oh God, please don't let me be weak and can't open this one either. Mm. I can't open it. And I don't want to spill it because it's got the oils in it. Oh, Lord. Forgive me, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to come back to y'all and talk to you about it later. It might be because the granules might have gotten in between the lid and the um, actual jar. But so if it smells like black soap, then I should be able to open this actual pump over here and tell you what it smells like. So we're going to do that instead of me trying to struggle and look like a dang fool and crazy on camera. So I'm going to open up the liquid version. It smells like black soap, like liquid black soap, or I guess regular black soap, but it doesn't have that crazy, like, really strong black soap smell, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like, sometimes you smell black soap and you damn, you know immediately it's black soap. This is a much more mild, scented version of black soap. So this one and the scrub, so this will probably really help with my back being just, I want, nobody wants to have, like, weird, like, excess, like, acne marks on, like, their back and body and stuff, because that's not cute. Especially if it's sundress season. Got it! Oh, 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 I got it! I wasn't even trying that time. Yay! Okay, so I'm not gonna, like, be able to, like, seriously... Let me, let me tilt it down for you. So, whoop. So that's what it looks like right there. And so that's what it is. This doesn't smell like black soap. I don't, it doesn't have, like, a black soap smell at all. Yeah, it was, like, the granules. I can see it just came off on my hand. And so she also gave me along with her business card, which has her phone number on it, which I'm not going to show y'all. Well, I guess I can... Okay, yeah, I can show you the one side of it. But so, she also gave me her business card, which is right here. And she also gave me little wooden spoons, which I thought were so cute to actually be able to scoop out the scrubs. Like, these are so cute! Where'd... Who else thinks of this? But so, that is my mini black business haul, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I'm going to do a 100% review on all of the products after probably a month of using them. So probably by, it's May the 3rd now? 4th. It's May the 4th. So probably by June 4th is when, um, after Awesome Con, because I'll be out of town for that. So probably that following week is when I'll actually be able to 100% review everything and let you guys know how it is. But until next time, bye guys!